I told you this figure was coming and it's here. Um, I've had this one now for a couple of weeks. Uh, again, Star Saber came in, holidays came in, so I postponed doing anything with this, but I got Sergeant Slaughter. Now, I am not a fan of uh, world wrestling at all, so for me, I literally got him because of one thing and one thing over, only the fact that he comes with a little version of himself. I just love how stupid of an accessory it is, but it works for the character. Uh, in the second season of Jojo, Real American Hero, Sergeant Slaughter is brought in to get the Joes back into fighting shape. Uh, in the comics, he's a Joe recruit who tries to track down Zartan. In real life, he's a professional wrestler who pretends to be a Vietnam veteran. Regardless of how you know him, he is a cool figure. Uh, if you watched Joe Joe growing up, he he's kind of the reason why the cartoon sucks after the, during the second season. Uh, they basically made him a superhero and super strong and all that. But he is a cool looking figure and I do respect that you did have this guy who said, yes, you can use my likeness for this series. Uh, originally the trainer was supposed to be Rocky Balboa and that fell through so we got Sergeant Slaughter instead and I do think we got the better, the much better uh, replacement. As far as the box goes, you do get beautiful artwork. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Pull this up. And you do get that lovely artwork that shows off quite a bit. You do get nice painting of him. You do get product shot and whatever his rankings are. I haven't deciphered those rankings and I probably won't. Let's go ahead and stop looking at my closet. And look at the figure itself. Now he does come packed with a lot of accessories and we will talk about that. So let's go ahead and take a couple of them off. Take off his hat, and we'll take off his sunglasses. You can even take off his whistle. I do worry that I might lose these sunglasses due to how small they are. But as you can see here, he does look tough. He does look menacing. Look at the size of his biceps and triceps. I mean, he looks absolutely phenomenal. You could almost believe that this guy was an actual badass. And he was. I mean, wrestlers, I'm not into wrestling, but they are very athletic people who can take a lot of abuse. Um, as far as articulation goes, his arms can do the full 360. They can go out. You've got the upper bend here. You do get a double elbow, although it is very tight. You do get the leg to go forward. You cannot kick that far back, unfortunately. You do get knee bend. If you do it right, this is a double knee bend. But just like all my other G.I. Joe figures lately, it is very tight feet you know what to expect you do see how his ab crunches you do get that rotation he even gets up here i mean this figure is phenomenal as far as a figure goes this is probably i mean he's one of my least favorite characters but this is one of the best figures that they have um and again he comes with a ton of accessories you see the gun here the gun actually has a removable sight clip another piece i'm worried about losing Let's go ahead and get, see if I can get that back in. There we go. And he does come with a foot locker. Unfortunately, it's not a ditty bag. It's not an itty bitty ditty bag. But you do get the nice 53 for him being this 53rd member. And there's a bunch in here. So let's go ahead and I'll open it up and show you. He does come with his baton. So you can reenact those uh, intros he was doing during the Deke runs. He does come with a plethora of different hands. Another hand. And then like you saw, he comes with his hat, he comes with his sunglasses, he comes with his whistle. He comes prepared to fight Cobra. Another fun fact, in the cartoon, they used him as one of the basis for Serpentor, whereas in the comic book, they used Storm Shadow. So yeah, he's got this hand that's like reaching out. He's got one that's pointing at you. He's got a fist to punch you with. He's got another one to strangle you with. Another punching one. And another pointing one. It's a cool figure. I do like it. And as I've talked about with some of the other G.I. Joe figures in the series 
I do really like that the body isn't the same body over and over again. As you can see here with go back Zerana fell again. With, go back and watch all my videos, same time she falls. Um, but as you can see, it's a completely different torso, completely different legs, and Hasbro is not skimping and just giving the same anatomy over and over again. My only complaint, like I said, is the fact that he does come with these sunglasses that I do feel are very, very losable. They are translucent. I don't know if you can see that. But you can actually kind of see his eyes behind it. But, I mean, it's a cool looking figure. I'm actually tempted to get some bats just to have him kick the bats' asses. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I can't get enough of how stupid and great this figure is at the same time. And it, that's Sergeant Slaughter in a nutshell, right? He's a professional wrestler. He's stupid and excellent at the same time. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter, I didn't mean anything by that, by the way. If you see this, I thank you. Thank you for a lot of positive memories of my childhood. Uh, so please comment down below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you want to see next.